y'all. This is Latanya. I was coming back with another upcycle of this pumpkin pillow. I had this last year and with it being out of my shed and everything like that, um, it kind of got messed up. I'm going to show you a picture of a before picture of it, how it was. Hope you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it was a pretty nice pillow last year. There it is. It's a pretty nice pillow last year. And it got out there and it got, you know, messed up and everything like that. So um, I'm going to take it from drab to fab again. Um, like I did the other project the other day. And you see how it looks now? I'm going to upcycle it. So I'm going to do something even a little bit different from last year. And I hope you keep watching. The items you will need will be diamond wrap, these little Christmas ornaments right here. I'm going to pull these uh, mosaic pieces off and do something with the stem with this. You're going to need glue sticks, scissors, your glue gun, and that's about it. Let's get started. Okay, I'm getting started with the diamond wrap, and I'm just going to go all the way around the pillow, and I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, y'all, and I went all the way around except for up here because I'm going to do the glass mosaic pieces up here, and then I'm going to put some like some little creases with the diamond wrap in the inside. I'm going to measure that out, and it's going to be... I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, okay, everybody, what you do is you take some glue. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm starting up here with a little tiny bit of glue. Okay, you take this part. And wherever you want this little crease to go at, and I'm going to start taking the glue and kind of putting it up under the diamond wrap piece right here. Press. Okay. And it's already starting to make a little crease. And then I'm going to go all the way down to probably here. Bring it all the way down to there. I rather put it on the diamond wrap um, because if you put it on the diamond wrap, you can easily guide it where you want it to go. If you put it on a material, sometimes it dries too fast. So with me doing it this way, I can guide it how I want it to go. So and I'm gonna have it taking it all the way down to the very bottom. And I might do about, I'm going to say about maybe four in the inside. As far as the diamond wrap, you know how a pumpkin is shaped. Um, it has those little, I, I say creases, but it's like little dimples or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so that's how that's looking right there. And I'm going to do a few more and I'll come back and show you how it looks. And I was um, just bringing y'all back before I get completely finished with this, um, these creases or whatever. Um, I'm going to be taking some of this diamond wrap around the edges like this. I think I'm going to do like three um, creases. One, two, three, like that. And then, um, or maybe four. But I'm trying to just make, you know, emulate the pumpkin as much as possible. And, um... If anybody want to know how I made this is I got some um the 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 placemats the cloth placemats at Dollar Tree okay and all I did was glue them together um and flip the flip it inside out glued it um flip it to the right side stuffed it with the old pillow and that's how I was able to come up with this just some cloth placemats and this right here the reason how um the way I got this is I took a, um, I used 
a sign from Dollar Tree, a pumpkin sign, and I traced it, traced my material. This material right here is from Dollar Tree also. It's nothing but an old runner, an old blue runner that I had that I kind of painted darker. It's like this um, lagoon looking blue, teal blue or whatever. Um, this is a deep blue. It's more like a lagoon blue. Anyway, I painted it. Um, this old runner. I don't know if you can see the pattern. It's it's a beautiful pattern in it. It's like some strolly uh, details in it. I think you can see it a little bit. Cause this is very dark, but I can show you better once I take the final picture in my living room, and you'll be able to see it um, better. But anyway, I was just coming back to show you that I'm going to be taking this and showing you exactly how many creases I'm going to do and everything. So I'm going to take this one closer to the middle and then take that part all the way to the edge. And I'm going to give it like a little squiggly sort of look as I turn it twisted or whatever towards the bottom okay all right and I'm gonna come back and show y'all what I did okay y'all that's how it's coming out um, I'm gonna go in with my mosaic pieces which I already pulled some off and I'm gonna go in with these and finish the stem and I'll come back and show you how that turned out Okay, y'all, we wanted to come back in and just show you I'm starting with the stem with the mosaic glass pieces. And this is a little time consuming, so I will show you the end results in a few. All right, y'all, here's the finished product. Hope y'all can see it. That's the stem with the mosaic pieces from the Christmas ornaments. And I just added just a little um, leaf. All right, and I hope everybody enjoyed this um, little upcycle. And tune in uh, again this week because I have another one headed your way. Please like, comment share and subscribe to this channel all right y'all be blessed love y'all bye bye